The Caligula Effect Overdose told an interesting story of escapism with unique combat and characters that always had more to them than what was on the surface. And this idea has been expanded in the Caligula Effect too, with a new fake world to explore and a new intriguing story that unfolded in a way that kept my attention from start to finish. Things like quests and social events with his great new characters have been fleshed out to make this world of Redo feel like a world of people with their own struggles, whether it's your party members you're learning about or the local burger shop drama. And paired with the unique combat of Caligula that really is one of a kind, a unique world has been made in the Caligula effect too that cuts through its slightly lower quality visuals, made up for by a great soundtrack with tracks from some of the best current Vocaloid composers to act as music made by its new group of musicians. If the idea of a world fused with virtual singers, true personalities to uncover, extremely customizable combat, and social elements appeals to you, I'm pleased to say I think the Caligula effect too offers something great. And as an experience full of interesting stories and characters that has left me wanting to keep learning about the things below the surface in this fake modern world that I loved discovering. As I talked about in my first impressions for the Caligula Effect 2, this story is set in a virtual world based on the idea of giving you a new life where you can forget your regrets, where the virtue adult by the same name welcomes the protagonist as a student in Redo's high school and begins to live a normal and peaceful school life. This is until virtual adult Key bursts into Redo with the truth that everyone is actually trapped in the world, giving the protagonist memories of their real life that breaks down the facade, but also deems them a threat to the peace of this fake world. Key teaches them to fight with the catharsis effect, ready to take down the obligato musicians and regret who don't want this world to end, teaming up with others who have awakened to their past too, to form the new go home club to try and get back to reality to resume their real lives once again. With its interesting premise in place, the game flow of the Caligula Effect 2 begins, usually by showing you a bunch of story that reveals things about the world, a dungeon for a musician opening up, and then eventually fighting them to hopefully move forward. But it's all the things in between that make the plot of Caligula 2 so interesting. In this world where you're constantly uncovering what's real or fabricated, this leaves plenty of secrets to find, whether it be that one of your party members is secretly much older than they are in Redo, or the regrets that led certain characters to escape to there. With the causality link from the Lost Game brought in still allowing you to get to know the NPCs in this world too, but this time with much more individualized stories that were always fascinating to uncover after helping them with something small. Finding out the stories behind these characters was what made my time with the Caligula Effect 2 so great, with the tackling many issues you can escape from, whether it be wanting to relive your youth or the pressures of having to conform to society's expectations. And I was especially impressed with how tastefully it handled certain topics that I don't want to spoil, but showed that the team really considered how to address some of these mental health related topics properly. And paired with the balance of uncovering these things, both in the main story and also with your party members as you grow your bond with them in battle, the vibrant script also makes this world and story incredibly engaging, making it easy to get attached to these characters and interested in learning more in this intriguing world full of secrets and truths to uncover in its school and the many dungeons found throughout the journey. While the story and world of the Caligula Effect 2 is constantly giving you new things to keep immersed in, combat is a slower and more intricate affair, with it already using a turn-based system along with its Dawn-inspired timeline that lets you place your attack based on what will happen next, bringing back Caligula's unique system exactly how players of the first one would remember it, with some nicer looking attacks too. If you liked the system in Overdose like I did, this is good news as all the best parts of throwing enemies and trying to keep them in the air or from attacking is there, and there's fun to be found in setting your attacks up with perfect timing to counter an enemy's moves that I think could be satisfying to those who like tactical games, and it's definitely worth trying at least once as it's rare to be able to strategize and make moves in such a precise way. In saying that, it isn't exactly the fastest way to do a battle, as a setting, replaying, and adjusting of moves takes time, and Caligula 2 is not afraid to punish you for not paying attention, with the times I rushed through being the times I got pretty close to game over, and even the auto battle function that leaves three characters to the AI and lets you just put in moves for the protagonist is a big risk in bigger battles that ultimately had me opt for taking my time and keeping my choice of moves very controlled, leading to boss battles that took over an hour long at times. It is really satisfying when it goes right though, and I felt more challenged in this one compared to the last one thanks to the way its bosses kept me on my toes, and it's this kind of challenge that makes it somewhat tempting to try some of the endgame challenges that are available after having finished its 45 hour main campaign, as even though I'm underleveled compared to some of these 
these new bosses, but system makes it fun to try your luck through pure strategy, so if that sounds appealing to you, I think there's a great chance that you'd enjoy the challenge of this system. Finally, something that made even the longest battles in the Coyular Effect 2 appealing was the music, that once again completely knocked it out of the park in terms of having tracks that are ones I would be more than happy to and have been putting on repeat since the soundtrack is on most streaming services. I was initially really excited to see the Vocaloid compose the talents they had on board, such as Nanu, who produced tracks that truly did not disappoint, and there were composers I didn't know so well before Caligula 2 that I should probably check out, such as Samiki, who did the track Miss Conductor that I could probably keep on repeat for the rest of my life. But I loved every song in 2, and the exploration of genres from the vibrant pop song for Mukun to the heart-wrenching songs from Kronke and Doctor in the game, and the fact they're all so unique and well done made me never mind them looping around all battle, although Key coming in with her key jacking and versions of the song did help keep things from feeling repetitive too. And ultimately, I think anyone who loved the soundtrack from the first one will not be disappointed and will hopefully find many new tracks to love here too. These paired with its new mechanics like its equipping of feelings you find on the field and quests all help to give the Caligula effect to its one of a kind feel of combining strategy, emotions, and relationships with characters all together both in story and gameplay as they affect which abilities you can equip and gain. And with other reasons to return to it despite some of its long battles, I'd say I have more reasons to enjoy this game than not thanks to its interesting systems and the way it kept me immersed in its intricate world. I mean, done with the Caligula Effect 2 for a while and have already reviewed a game or two since, but ever since, I've been sincerely hoping to be able to get back to the Caligula Effect 2 at some point, as there's still plenty left to do and the meaningful content at the end has me feeling like I might actually follow through and do it someday. There are the fun extra dungeons and combat experiences that I mentioned, but the main thing I'm excited to go back and do is get to know its characters even more. From the ones around town to the party members, as peeling back layers in this world is always so interesting. There's just something so fun about equipping persuasion and then taking down an angry customer at the burger shop or messing up a social episode and seeing the dialogue moments that could have been just to patch it up again using key points that make getting to know these already interesting characters even better. I'm definitely impressed with how much this world has me sucked in thanks to its good writing, good twists, and its interesting world full of truths to unveil that I hope to learn much more about. And I'm looking forward to seeing how many students I end up truly getting to know with all its characters being what contributed to my time in this idolistic world being so enjoyable to play through. I'm so glad the Caligula Effect 2 exists to help it realize even more of its story potential, with this interesting world hitting even harder in its sequel. I was never too disappointed with the original social parts, but seeing how well its whole world from story to NPC encounters could be done is what makes this sequel so good, and paired with the fantastic music and unique combat makes this an entry that both has me wanting to see more from the series, but also hoping not to as I don't want its world and characters to go through more than they have already, but I think at least says something about how much it made me care about it. There are places where it could improve, such as with better 3D models or adding some active parts to a system to make it more engaging, but the things I like in the Caligula Effect 2 also have me not minding so much, and rather excited to see Fudiu's future projects for the West that carry a similar tone as they did such a good job with this one. All in all, the Caligula Effect 2 is an experience I had a lot of fun deep diving into, and while its soundtrack will definitely stay in my life, I hope I get to play with the game more too, as this world of breaking down walls that lead to reality made for a very interesting experience. Thank you for watching this video, let me know in the comments below if you tried the Caligula Effect 2, and if you have, what did you think of it? You can like and share this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more JRPG content like this, and ring that bell to get notifications on whenever I post so you don't miss a thing. You can check out more videos here, and you can find me on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all at JRPG Jungle. Links to those will be in the description below. Thank you to NIS America for the code, and until next time, thank you, bye!